What's going on, everybody? Yeah, I know who it is. It is your boy, the Dry Nerd here, and I want you guys to take a close look at these clips, and I want you guys to pay close attention to my decision making, not my aim. Um, I know a lot of people have been saying like, "Hey, I my aim. I feel like I hit a plateau in my aim. I feel like I can't get better aiming." And I'm here to tell you, you're going around it like going about it wrong. You have to think about how to outsmart your enemy, how to make smart plays how to not make stupid plays, how to correlate that into becoming a better aimer and a better FPS player overall. What's impressive to me in these clips that I've got is that my ability to outplay the enemy. There are some Apex clips in here that you guys are seeing and how I don't fully commit. Like Apex right now is like a, a really fun game for me because what it's teaching me is how to not fully commit how to take every gunfight like a chess match when to back off when not to back off and how to actually um get better especially when it comes to movement when to do certain movement and how to uh just finesse the enemy and that is something that you can do and take into call of duty like i said a lot of you are struggling like my aim is not getting any better no, it's not that your aim's not getting any better. It's not you are not getting any better and you're just focusing on one aspect of making yourself a good FPS player. This will help you uh, get better at FPS and make those like impressive, crazy shots because let's be honest here. When is it that we say, dang, that was crazy. Like the moves, like his aim was crazy. Just outplaying the enemy was crazy. We fixate on that way more than we do like on a person aim or we fixate on how he was able to make a certain play and how he was able to aim well while doing that play that is what really matters and that really counts how to become a smarter better player and that takes time and it's not something that's going to come overnight but especially think about that when you're playing the game think about how you need to outsmart the enemy like in this clip right here i dive across and then i come back and i peek and then i don't peek and then i jump across and then i'm thinking okay how there's a bunch of people over there they're kind of looking at me they're stunning me they're throwing things how can i like trick them so i literally as when he threw that nade i jumped through the nade and jumped through the smoke and seeing if i can get a different angle on them not repeating the same thing or holding the angle waiting for him to come to me that is something that is you have to think about that's something that you have to do in order to become and progress and be a better player leave aiming for aim training and leave like your in game skills learning to get better making certain plays in game the next clip that's coming up is going to be me playing apex and i'm using the wingman now it's nothing special but the the being able to hit somebody like this with the wingman is pretty impressive in my personal opinion just being able to hit your shots because if i was just using an r301 a fast smg that wouldn't have been that impressive but here's the fact that makes this clip impressive i was able to click time this guy and hit all my shots while doing it now i missed my shots on this guy and you guys see it just how difficult this weapon is. But then I'm able to track him with my SMG and able to get the kill on him. That's what makes this so impressive. And just think about that when you're trying to get better at the game. Just like I said, think about how you can outsmart the enemy. Maybe there's just another angle you can get on them. Don't run head first into the enemy. Like you're going to try to get better. As always, guys, like... Everything that I'm saying, you have to go out and do. You have to try and get better at it and everything. So, um, like I said, just keep grinding, keep playing, and it will come to you eventually. Leave aim training for aim training and leave, um, just leave, like, in game for playing in game. Like, you, you're able to focus on a lot of other things when you're not just focusing on your aim. And like I said, you will get better at this over time, but don't just camp in a corner, move around, try to outmaneuver the enemy, try to get better. As always guys, this is your boy, the dry nude. I'm always curious to hear what you guys have to say down below. And like I said, we're grinding and we're getting better. More tips and tricks to come. I got another custom curve video coming out here soon. Use code newt for 25% off. That's what I use and 
yeah always guys like i said stay blessed stay humble i'll catch you in another video peace